But are we podcasting now? Are we podcasting? We're going to get t-shirts that say, are we podcasting? Yeah, we are. We're, We're doing merch. Them. Colin's helping us. My We're husband. Make some Christmas What a money. hero. You guys are going to help. And yeah. we have a couple shows. Go to imomsohard.com yes. to get tickets to the live show. Brea is in Orange County, which is going to be a lot of fun because it's a club. So we get to be up close and personal, yeah. 27th and 28th. We're in Indiana. We're, we're in Wisconsin. We're we got a couple sold out shows. That feels yeah. so cool. Oh my God, I'm so That's excited. That's freaking cool, man. And it's before Thanksgiving, which you guys, we are ramping into my favorite time of year. But also the busiest time of year. So busy. But I think that's partly why I like it too. Yeah. It's like all – Delilah said the other day uh, – you know what the worst day of the year is? The day after Christmas. And I totally agree with that. It is. Christmas Eve is a, a wonderful day. Christmas it's, Day is fun until yeah. 3 p.m. And then it's sad because we have to wait another year for – And I oh, hate yeah. when people are like, let's have a holiday party on the 28th. I'm like, it's not Christmas. It doesn't even feel like it. It has to be prior to the day in order for it to well, count. Well, I think Canadians have it, the Boxing Day Unboxing. thing. I, it, yeah, I think that's fun. That's a fun thing where you take one thing that you got and you give it to somebody else. Well, it's like shit. A white- I'm not giving anybody my stuff. No. Something you didn't want, right? Isn't I that want what it, it is? because it was given to me. Like I'm not giving it away. Gift kind of deal. I don't know. We're not to Christmas yet. We're nowhere near. We're nowhere We're still near. In it. But We're I not even to this. Halloween yet. I'll tell you what's on my radar right now. So my two children are as different as two people can be. And Same. I am losing my mind. Well, what's interesting is your daughter and my son are the same. Very similar. And your son and, <laughs> and your daughter, daughter are, are very, very much similar. the same. So here's what's happening in my world. Um, my son is me in many versions. Like he is, and this is not a humble brag. There is there is fallout from these personality traits. But my son is Uh-oh, someone who, like, he he works fast. He talks fast. Yeah. He he's um sort of like he sort of grunts and makes noises if he's not getting his way and has a fit. But then if he gets his way, he's delightful. <laughs> so I get who he is. I get that that's me. I know. I know. When I look at him, when I am mad, and I look at his face, and I can literally say, I know that we look exactly alike because I can look at his face, and I remember that reflection in the mirror. That's how similar we look. I know this. I hope that having your son – because we've had this conversation before where you're like, I see these things in him that I – but I hope that makes you look at yourself with a little more love and forgiveness – no, it does uh, the no, opposite. It makes me so mad, mad at myself. Right now. You guys it makes me so me. mad at myself. <laughs> literally. <laughs> literally. I go, I am now going, I'll never opposite. tell my mother this. Actually, opposite. Opposite. Yeah. I'll never tell my mother this. But literally getting in arguments with my son, I'm like, does this mean she was right the whole time? Was she oh, God, was I, I being that. like yeah. such a brat that like no wonder I thought she was like joyless for a couple of years because she just seemed mad all the time? I seem mad all the time. I literally and then and then I am so pissed because he is so hard. He's in seventh grade. You guys, we're going through it. And he, everything I say, he's got some dumb – what's that face that they all do that? Like model face? It's called – it's a like – yeah. sucking on a lemon face? It's called – it's a, there's the a guy. There's a – it's like – oh, shit. Moms are going to go crazy right Christian now because I can't – what? No, it's it's a it's a face, and I can't remember the Brando. Hold on a second. God, let's see if I can. Hold, hold. It's a kissy face thing. Is it the Zoolander? That's what Call you were Finn doing. Sweeney. Uh oh. I'm just gonna say he's not gonna answer. It's gonna say his phone doesn't work or his Apple Watch doesn't work. Not charged. He's probably two rings. He's grounded. This is why he's got an Apple Watch, so I can communicate with him. So that means he's either ignoring me and it's on his wrist, or it's not on his wrist, which means he's lost it. There's a lot going on right now, and he begs for a phone. Yep. And this is the reason why. And so then it makes me think he's on his iPad, which he's not supposed to be on during the week. Okay. That went to voicemail. Noted. So what I would like to say is it's stuff like that. Yeah. So he does now. Giga Chad. Giga there's a oh, there's a thing where they go. Yep, yep. I know. Now I know it. Yeah. So he does all these. I blame the internet. Because here's the reason. When we were young. It is a high level of humor, I will. It's it's definitely uh because it's a Chad. High. A Chad is a, a annoying dude. guy. Yeah. yeah. And like 
This it's is the, the bane of my existence. The guy who thinks he's really cool makes this like modely kind of face. Fucking face. And yeah. I'm like, quit it. Yeah. Quit it. It's at every step. And I believe that because you and I, when we were in middle school and we were being annoying, we did not have the internet. So there weren't 50,000 versions of oh, we ways to be annoying. You had we didn't know three, anything. You had three ways to be annoying. You either caught it on TV, which you saw one episode one time, yeah. or you had one VHS tape. And what are you, a millionaire that you had – owned the VHS oh tape. It wasn't until Adam Sandler that we started quoting shit all the time because oh we God. bought the VHS until tape. Until we got MTV, we were doing stuff that was seven or eight years out of style. Literally we were th- repeating the same yeah. bit over and over in words instead of like entire phrases or dances. So Finn, Finn's in the throes of middle school. It's been a real source for me material-wise for the show for a long time. So, But one thing about my son that I will tell you is this kid is a self-starter. It's it's kind of incredible. And it's I'm I'm very proud of him. But he comes home, he wants to do his homework right away. Oh, I love that. He's the guy that's like, and you Brits even said, like, that kid will be in the house and he'll notice that he's been sitting too long and he'll go shoot hoops yeah, it's easily great. for an hour. It's great. Or he'll pick up a bat and just swing his bat. Or he'll he just needs to move his body. He doesn't like he's very um aware of his body in terms of food, you know? He like he, he's like, ah, I don't need another cookie. That's like too much sugar for me. And I'm like, I'll eat it. Like he's, he is a very self-regulated kid. He likes to be active. He wants his work to be done early so that it can free up his time, yeah. you know? And then he's a pain in the ass when he doesn't get to do what he wants to do. Well, that's really the nuts and bolts of Finn. This is when I have been lately going back to the like, oh, was my mom right about me? And oh, that, that was hard to even spit that out of my mouth. But like, uh. How dare we? This is not this podcast. No, it's not. We're, We're not, not doing that. We're going to answer that as no. Can of worms, but Jesus. My um, my daughter does this thing, and it really puts me in a bad mood. And I'm not. This is not be, me being complaining. I know it's like a developmental stage. I know it's like where oh, the brain I, it is. It can just be like annoying, that. you know. Okay, which is it doesn't matter. Um, what nice thing I have tried to do, or like a fun thing I've tried to make happen. There's one thing about it that's like supremely fucking disappointing to her. Like where it's like you can go to yep. Disneyland, but you're like, mm, I didn't get the light up one. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Or, and it just shits on the whole thing. I know. And what makes me extra mad is when like she's in trouble and I've like conceded mm-hmm. some part of the punishment. Like and then you can that's go to not the enough. birthday party and you're like, oh, but we had to leave early to go to somebody's wedding. And I'm like, oh, girl. Sister? You if, almost didn't get to go. You for the don't next even know if you were in a friend year. group, you'd yeah. be the one that's like, I'm not going to go if she's going to talk about her ex boyfriend the whole time. It's like a super drag. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh my God. We that's have- the thing that, it, and, and I do this, I do this, and I remember my mom doing this, and I'm like, I hope that isn't why, but I, I'll like <laughs> suck air into my teeth and I then sigh. We and all I go, do that. Delilah, I'm sorry, I can't make you happy. You're so much better than me. I'm like, my whole neighborhood hears me yelling. <laughs> they hear me yelling through the whole house at Finn. Like, and then Finn talks back. And I'm like, you talk back too much. You talk back too much. We don't spank you. And maybe that was a mistake. Yeah. But I'm about ready to sweep your leg. Oh, my God. That's I like, say that all the time because they know it's an empty threat. But I'm like, ours God, is, if I uh, spanked you right now. I Listen, that's a conversation. Everybody has their own right to do whatever they want. Like, But we're, when we were raised... The pop to the ass or a pop to the mouth was a very real threat. Yeah. And my mom was a ninja at it. Like oh, in yeah. the car, it's like, poof, that's yeah. going to go right over that line. You not even know where it came from, right? Yeah. I, she could reach me in the back seat. I was like, I what are you, go-go gadget freaking swat arm? I know. Like, Or like my my dad would like flick if you oh, were rude. the back of the head? Flick back of the head, flick oh, the back of the arm. And I was like. Pinch the back of your arm. Oh, hell like, no, pinch, sir. If you're misbehaving. I'll yeah. show you your tab at the Legion Club. I got notes. I like, know. this is I bullshit. Will, I will do a friendly little, like, pop on the tush as they run away if they're being yeah. ornery. Like, yeah, that's and different. They, no, but they will step and look at me like, <gasps> how dare you? I am calling they, CPS. Our kids have it a lot easier because Gen Xers are trying to do right by their kids kind of all the time. And I sometimes wonder if it's to our detriment. Like, we're going to take it in the teeth a lot. No, no, no. I have this whole theory on this. Where I was telling my husband this weekend. No. And this might, might get me on a lot of, like, uh, hate lists or something we're, like that. But- I tell you what, I get so upset when I see like the boomer generation posting memes about like everybody gets trophies, like yeah. criticizing the way that we parent. Yeah. Because 
there's a lot of things that they got that we never got. Like what? What do you mean? Well, I don't know. Like, like they were I, raised by the greatest generation. No, they, they supposedly are the greatest no, generation. No, the boomers are not the greatest generation. Oh God, it's the generation so right much before. Older than you. It's the greatest. You might need to look this up. Yeah. The the greatest generation is World War II. And then the children of that generation are boomers. I think baby boom came from the, the reaction of to, World War II. Oh. So our parents are the are the generation after the greatest generation. I think it goes greatest generation, boomers, um, Gen Xers, millennials, Gen Zers, and then I think the next one is Alpha. What is Alpha? Eleanor and Dashiell. They're Alphas? And, and, and Delilah. Actually, Finn is a very young first year oh. gen. Uh, what? There's one in between. What oh, is, is it? Greatest generation, 1901 to 1924. Silent generation, <gasps> 1925 to 1945. Boomers, 1946 to 1964. Oh, the irony oh, is not lost on me that silent was, generation was. My dad was silent generation. He was a lot older than my mom. Yeah. Yeah. So I think generationally, like, the boomers, like, I just think they think it's okay to be like, oh, oh. Yeah. And I think it's okay to listen to your kid. Now, look. Oh. Look, I think it's a runaway train, though. I think there's sometimes we don't put up enough bumpers where we're like. saying. Like, we, look, we we are all working at least 40 hours a week and probably a, commuting another, like, 10. That's the biggest difference between 20. boomers and us. And they could have one parent stay home and the other exactly. person stay home the whole time. So they got cookies and stuff like that. Totally. They got, like, they kind of 100%. got these, this, like, um kid glove thing that we didn't get. Like, we were all latchkey kids and stuff like that. So don't. 100%. And we just don't want our kids to feel like that. So we're making up for it in, like, different ways. Yep. So it kind of pisses me off when I say I see those memes about like everybody gets a trophy. I'm like, yeah. what's the matter with that? Everybody gets social security, whether or not they were a yep. bazillionaire or you just had a job. Also, like, right? like, like what are we? Re- we're not talking about high school that everybody gets trophies. We're talking no. about eight year olds. There's still going to be okay. all state. There's still going to be. We're t- Come on, like, listen. I go to a lot of soccer games, and Same. I will tell you, every game, one person does a good job. Actually, in our games, there's one person that always does a good job, and then there's one other person that Outlier. does a good job, and that's just random. It's yeah. just somebody having a good day we've who got had a Jessica, lot of sugar. And then we've got the rest. Absolutely. Yeah. Like we have Ivy, and she's amazing at yep, soccer. Yep, she's going to get a D1 co- scholarship, and we all know that kid already, on the team. Already. Yeah. I know. But then there's like one other that just has a good day. Yeah. And so I do feel like, look, you showed up, you, you clocked in. Even if you didn't want to come, I, you suit it up. Like, you get something for – you didn't sit at home. And by the way, I paid a lot of dues agree. for you to play. I, I like a little – like, Make a damn trophy. Yeah, please. I want something to take home. The socks, I want it. The socks aren't enough. I want a swag bag. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I do think – that where I feel like, and this is again, like I don't comment on other people's parenting unless it like interferes with my parenting. Do you know what I mean? Like if I'm trying to parent and then I've got like a fruity guy on my side, like I'm like, oh, you don't parent? Okay, this is going to be a, na- a nightmare. What what can you narrow down what you mean by fruity guy? I mean like I do feel like I'm going to get in so much trouble for that one. I do <laughs> I'm feel like. I just want to say I'm picturing Jack from Three's Company. because <laughs> Fair. If you're in a thruple. You're fruity, okay? If well, if you're I running your all game, of us feel a little nervous about throubles. It's yeah, it, it, listen, it, somebody's I, getting left out. I just feel like sometimes not everybody gets a participation trophy in a throuple. Can we say that? No, you're getting one person's having a great time, and the probably. other person's like off on a Tuesday. Yeah, like they're the grocery shopper, and the other ones are banging. Exactly. It's fine. And whatever you're into, come and knock on my but door. But you mean like new age parent? New kind age. Of, new age is a yeah. good word because that has been around forever. New age is like to me. Um, there are some just basics that need to be in play, and we are as parents very. We are 
disciplinarians. We just are, I believe in structure and I believe in like positive reinforcement. And I also believe in negative reinforcement. I believe that like my kids should be a little bit afraid of like consequences, but they should also know that like when they do well, my husband and I, we champion and we celebrate that. And we really do. And that is because- you guys aren't just teaching, like, the right thing to do because of fear, though. I know no, you're no, parenting. No. You guys teach them the right thing because it's the right thing. Like, right. The, but the I still feel like my— Kindness behind it or the— 100%. Morality behind it. Uh, we And and I, I give a lot of credit to my husband who has been boots on the ground while we've been doing—we go on the road. Like, I do feel like Colin being raised in Texas and being raised— You know, we're both Catholic. Like, we have the same sort of ideals of what that looks like. But I find sometimes— everybody's afraid of like offending their kid. And I'm like, sometimes your kid just wants you to tell them what to do because they're a kid. And if you let their brain try to make decisions for themselves all the time, they're too young. They don't have the, they don't have the skills yet. So yeah. sometimes you got to just say, it's because I said so. That is a fair parenting thing. Like I don't have to give you an ex- ex- explanation exactly. why I want you home at six at night. We are talking about Delilah and Finn right Run now. Run 100%. Because, because if there is a boundary, my son's got his foot right up to it. That is where I... In an exasperated way, I will say to her, no, just because it's no. And if you ask me why, you're going to lose something. Like it's, I'm going to make your week uncomfortable. I always say to my son, I go, we are not equals. I'm your parent. I, I'm above you in the pecking order, sir. If this were a business, I would be the CEO and you would be coming to me for a promotion. And then after that, don't you feel so sexy? Like you just want to like, yeah, I know. (laughs) I do. I go cry. I go cry by myself. And then I do a roundabout and I come back the next day and I'm like, but I'm really sorry that things were so hard yesterday. And then he giga chads and I start to, my skin starts to boil. And then I'm like, I would really like for us to spend some quality time together. But why can't I just spend time with Jackson? This is what a kid wants to do. And I'm like, no, no, no. You're going to go on a hike with me and we're going to make memories together. Yeah. And you're going to like me. I know. Because I'm fun. People think I'm super fun. And that's what happens. So that's Finn. That and that's fun. On her dating profile, too. It really was Colin. exactly that. Yeah. Well, I so Dash, I do think Dash is pretty good about he and he and Eleanor are the they're same chill. age. And they're so similar. He's very chill. Like he does this nice thing where he'll like reach over and like pat my hand and stuff like that's that. That's nice. Like, it's really, really sweet. Finn does that and then he goes, Mom, watch this. If I put it behind your back, I saw this a life hack, and then I can pop your back. And I'm like, yeah. no, 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 no. Like how did I turn into a wrestling well, move so fast? I say that with the caveat that now that he's getting into the tw- – like he very much wants Tweens. to be a teenager. Oh, yeah. yes. Um, that he um, is very angry. Oh. In a way – I don't yeah. know if Eleanor's there yet or if that's – I don't know if it's a – I hate to say guy-girl thing because they're it's, very similar, those two. And I, yeah. And, and I think it's like the star they were born under or something so similar. But like he – like – his recess got moved. Like, he's still in fifth grade, you guys. Yeah. His recess got moved from 1130 to 930 because some of the other fifth graders were fighting with the other fifth graders. And you've never seen anybody so mad in your entire life to the point that, like, for the last two days, I've had to say to him after school, you need to go to your room and do what you need to do to calm down, but you are yeah. not going to talk to people like this. There's, I'm, like, They're turning it's, red. It's the boiling it, point. It's the it's hormones. Everything's no. like, break, 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 break. You know, Eleanor will in a minute, like so chill. And then all of a sudden she's like fired up. Then she's back to chill. And I'm like, did I just pretend that happened? Or was that real? Like she is so laid back. But she's doing it too, where she get like pops off in anger and then she's like, Oh yeah. Okay, good. That makes okay. me feel better. I just want to know that they're on the same developmental oh, chart because they've always you, been. Is, if they go off it, I'm going to freak out. While I've been talking about my son, I do have to say this. This is my new favorite thing that's happening. And I don't know what this is, but I'm here for it. I say nothing. I go, Colin, don't you say a thing. I don't know what's happening. But every night around 7 p.m., Finn goes into the bathroom and sprays a little bit of Colin's very expensive Gets one bottle for Christmas cologne, but Colin ain't wearing it. And then he'll walk out and he'll be like, Mom, smell anything different? I'm (laughs) like, you smell so good. And I don't know if he's like like being a man like in his head, but I love it. I'm like, like, don't you ruin this for me, Colin. It's the only time he's nice to me. I don't know if in his head he's like working out like how someday he'll be like a like a big boy and he'll walk by a girl and he'll have like some nice cologne on it. I'm like, let's start with your breath. I'm sure in his brain it's like this. I think ladies like this. 
Let my me- mom is kind of <laughs> a lady. She's sort of one. The, I've heard that she is. Yeah. So let me see if she likes the smell of this. She doesn't have the thickest beard I've ever seen, so maybe she is a woman. <laughs> She seems fine. <laughs> the tra- What is that? The transferative property yeah, the, or whatever geez. it is of math. And maybe the ladies will think so. Maybe. Maybe this will. I think he's like, maybe if I spray myself with cologne, That's puberty a- will start. My house is so obsessed with puberty right We're now. We're all so- in it. Oh, my God. Well, Eleanor is like, but this is Eleanor. She's like, oh, I don't want to. I don't want to start puberty. I'm like, why? It's cool. It means like you level up as a girl and then you get to be a woman and it's kind of dope. And then periods aren't easy, but we'll get through it. And she's like, well, it's just the hair. And I'm like, yeah, you're. Yeah, she's heard a lot about it. (laughs) She's like, you get, I don't want that. Something tells me the hair's going to be an (laughs) issue. She's just so worried about, like, I'm like, look, man. Mom, at what I, age do I get the goatee? I hope genetically what? it doesn't happen for you, but there will be a no cuter chick with a mustache oh than you. Oh, my God. Like, yeah. We'll deal with it together, my friend. I know. Well, our our, our dog, Pearl, um, she just entered puberty. Oh, God. Your house. <laughs> Jesus it's, Christ. Our house is a goddamn mess, you guys. You, Jesus, I can't. you cannot have a dog in heat and then eventually have children that are going through puberty. It's because just not fair. They are so curious about what's going on. Like yeah. every day there's a new question. And for everybody else who has this question, so we have this large Labrador and we are so obsessed with this dog. We love her so much. Almost every day my husband very creepily says, don't die to this oh my dog. God. He loves her so much. And so we read- Meanwhile, they've got three other dogs that are like- We don't care if you die. Yeah. No, but, uh, well, I won't get into that. It weirds uh, people out. We're, well, we're, we're not going to get into that because you, you and I both have to just like mm, white knuckle it because uh, we've well, made decisions. There have been challenges. There yeah. have been challenges and- I'm just not meant to have carpet. So yeah. <laughs> that and uh, can't have nice things. Uh, they're lovely, you guys. I love them so much. I'm, but you love the one I've, the most, and that's okay. Uh, you know what? We Who all knew? have one I that we like the most. I expect to really fall in love with this dog, but I just look at her and I'm like, I love her I so much. Love you. Listen to us. We're like, you. we want to talk about our dogs because talking about our kids is way harder. Oh, well, I got some, some of my dog kids are No pretty. one looks at me like my golden Listen, retriever. You're you're allowed to no, and you are. She allowed loves me to so much. Your dogs be like this one's hard. You you can't do that with kids. Yes, you can. Well, <laughs> yes, you can. Well, I'm not depends. saying it depends. I'm not saying that you should have a favorite. I'm saying it's okay if you have a favorite, and I'm saying those positions might move. Oh yeah, and they, it, it is an earned position, and it's real simple math. I will love my kids both. In the same way, in terms of care and nurture yeah. and my endless, boundless love. But if you are nice back, perhaps Thank I you. think about the reciprocation that will happen. Because I can buy one a t-shirt you. and that one will be like, I don't like it. Nobody wears this. Ugh. Makes you, a face. You never make me happy. Or the other one says, gosh, thank you so much for thinking of me. I love it. And then you're like, wow, that's simple math. I'm going to go... I'm just called mom math. Everybody's talking girl math, boy math, yeah. gay math. I'm talking mom math. That's where I'm at with my dogs right now because I walk into the room and Pearl is happy to see me. And the I rest walk into are the like, room, the other ones bark at me like they need glasses. Yeah. It's so upsetting. Where like, is the bond? I'm like, do you know where you get food from? Me. Me, me, me. Yeah. Me, me, me. Now, Not both of my food. dogs are bonded to me. One just can't, I can't, she's fine. It's probably the version of me as a dog, quite honestly. Very hyper, high strung, barks all the time. She needs some stuff. She needs That's, some stuff. And I have she two definitely of that needs dog. Ritalin. So there's that. My well, dog could be sedated and it would be a better dog. So, Pearl, uh, we read that if you let a Labrador go through their first heat cycle, they'll live like a year longer. Yeah. It like gives them the full yeah, range of their too. development Ours. and their, like all their organs. Because yeah. whenever you spay a dog, that's like where they stop developing. Now, I'm not advocating that. All of our other dogs are fixed. From the minute you she get them. Doesn't, she doesn't go anywhere that she's going to accidentally get impregnated. So yeah. We and then you'll fix her once she goes through we heat. Are, I would do it. I would watch a YouTube video and do it now if that were a thing because I am it's so. A, the last thing you need is another person bleeding. I don't like, need that. Honestly. I don't. And it's hard because I. I I've had I, one dog go through heat and I was like, not you two. There's two bitches in this house now and I cannot. I cannot. And my husband's freaked out because I'm like, well, 
uh, pearls on my uh, 14 days of bleeding schedule that I was on my first period yeah. too. Like that's a, It's not light. No, it's not. She's got diapers. She's like- I know it's, it's so I am demoralizing to, for everybody. It is so demoralizing. I've worn I the do, same diaper. My husband's so understanding about her though. Cause I'm like, you know, she's gonna be tired. You make sure she's got a full ball. Yeah. Full you know bowl what? of water all the time. She just needs to watch make a good sure that she's gonna be Pride tired. and Prejudice- Oh my God! You give her salty. You give her sweet. Don't give her her chocolate. She can't have chocolate. No, you can give her you you know know, a little bit of chocolate. Not like like like, M and M's or something. Not like something that's like faux chocolate. Because dogs can't have chocolate. Exactly. Yeah. But I'm like, we gotta. So, but she has sparked all these conversations, and I I know it goes so quickly because it's like the animal world. Would do do humans do that? And you're like, huh? Yeah. On anniversaries, it kind of makes it easier because. Like for both the boy and the girl, see this dog that they love, and they're go like, through this thing. That's not an easy thing, and and I understand like why animal why- kingdom will bring all those questions up. Don't ever go to the zoo and look at the orangutans if it is spring. Oh my god! Because like, they don't will- look at pearls, but. Please Hump. don't. It's I didn't know. I'm sure my butt does the same thing, but like like it's a big butthole or something. It's like it's like, it was, it's oh it's um swollen it's swollen stuff. as a way to be like peacock. Purr. Yeah, she, so to, although she is not, she was like, unless you are coming at me with a pepperoni pizza, which is no, no, no. Some Pearl is not like she's not a hoe, Kristen. That <laughs> dog is not interested. You don't in, know because I you're not letting know. her out. She's in heat. I she put know. on her great, her best tube top. She looks, She'd be like, look, uh, this is as good as she's it's gonna not get. Wear a tube top, Kristen. She would 100 percent wear a tube top. She'd wear a tube top and some like penny would, shorts, not Pearl. Yeah, Penny might. Oh. Pearl would not do that. Pearl walks up to me and she's like, it's still happening. Can you I'm please dirty. help me? And, I'm dirty. Like, yeah. I need a trip to the day spa. It's like, I know what's it's happening. So, and it's like forever. So, but she's it like, has but I think up about- all these questions. So Delilah like gets up in the morning and she goes, mom, look at my armpit. Is there hair in it? And I'm like, man, God, no. That man. is literally my son. They're the same. <laughs> and meanwhile, Eleanor's like, I just want to be a kid forever. She I is so, too. actually, that's not true. That's not true. Eleanor, Eleanor has been sneaking mascara to school. I have a suspicion that both Eleanor and Dash, because they're they're acting like they don't want it, but, but they, they secretly do. do. Everybody yeah. does. They're just curious. She's like, she's so sweet. But here's what's driving me crazy. So Eleanor is not f- my son. She is fine. She is chill, and I am not chill. She is relaxed to the point of where I'm like, can we, can we light up a little bit? Like she's fine to be like in the morning. She's like, boy, it's early, isn't it? And I'm like, we have so much to do before you go to school right now. And she is just chill walking. Well, maybe she stops to talk to her Barbies before she goes in to brush her teeth. Maybe she doesn't need to brush her hair. Like, you know, the shirt she wore yesterday would be fine for today. Like she does not, she is so... Laid back so much so that she auditioned for the musical at her school, Newsies. Love it. And she auditioned for a part that I was actually surprised by. And I was kind of like looking at it sort of analytically. It was a very like the straight guy, like Davey, the 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 very serious dude to the lead Jack, right? So she read they, – they had like three scenes that they could read. And so she picked Davey. And I was like, that's interesting to me, Eleanor, because you're really naturally funny and – you you want to read this? And she's like, yep. She's got a good deadpan, though. She I does mean, have a good deadpan. Yeah. But I was like, this just doesn't feel like her. Anyway, they can't say what they're auditioning for. That was just the scenes given. So the, then the teacher divvies out the roles, right? So she's like, I go, how? I Listen, I'm not trying to toot our horn, but I'm saying you and I have played for thousands of people. And I get nervous before every show. I have never been more nervous than when Eleanor had to go do her audition oh God, and sing me? out loud. And I was dying all day to know. I'm like, how was it? How was like, do, 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 do. Like, did you find your note? You know, yeah. like I'm, I'm on the side. I'm like, did you hit your choreo? Like what, uh, we, we really worked things. I wanted to be with you so I could be in the back giving you. And, and then, and then she goes, how? Oh. I started to sing and I started to tremble. Mm. And I go, well, that's normal because you didn't sing one time when you're at home. How are you going to pull it out? You think it's going to magically happen? And then she's like, I go, how'd your scene go? And she goes, it was good. That's it. That's all I got. That was it. And I was waiting for eight hours. And then she goes, so then we got a call and they go, we would like Eleanor to play Jack, the lead, the lead, right? 
the oh. lead. The funniest, sw- yeah, has says poisonality, like does the shit that Eleanor is meant to do. She comes home and she's like, "If I don't get tickets to this, I am no, going we're going." To and that's why my parents my are coming community. out for that, and not Thanksgiving. So Eleanor goes, oh, I go, Will there you, be a video there, No, or? you'll be going. She okay, goes, please. oh, now I've got to sing a lot. I go, you did audition for a musical at your school. Like that was, <laughs> that was the known singing thing. Singing involved, yeah. She has not. Singing. I haven't heard her sing. She hasn't felt the need to like practice her lines. Nothing. She's got a hundred. Very laid back. Very laid back. I am over here with a butthole like a balloon knot. Like, wondering if she is going to experience public shame because she is so chill. So I'm at home like, we're running your lines. So I'm just, look, I'm going to be that person for her until I feel like mathematically she can fall on her own sword a little bit. This is too big of a deal. But my daughter is not the person that gets up and goes and plays basketball for an hour and a half. She's the one that will doodle or sort of hang or have a nice cup of tea or (laughs) – Chillax. She drink tea. She is so quick to give everybody. Literally, I think her favorite thing would be after 15 minutes of soccer, she would look at everyone and go, I think we've done enough for today. Should we all just, <laughs> does anybody have an iPad? Can we watch a little Netflix in somebody's SUV? I think we've done enough. Oh, my God. That's Let's so, reward guys, ourselves. This is how they're so similar because. Oh, Dash, it makes me insane. Dash before um, I went out of town, like both of us went on our girls trip a few yeah. weeks ago. And um, the night before, Dash was like, you're leaving? You're going out of I town? I know. They were really upset with us leaving this time. You told me you were going to go out of town until like November or something like that. And you're going out of town? I was like, hon, I'm sorry. I go, let's talk about it in the morning. You're really yeah. tired. So in the morning, I go, hey, are you really upset with me? Because I'm going out of town. He goes, what? No. Yeah. Th- see? I go, well, last night you said you were. He goes, mom, you know when I'm tired, I get really crazy. <sighs> I was like, wow, I knew that, but I didn't know that you knew that. That introspection is marvelous. That's incredible. Because he did not care. He yeah. Didn't care they going they are, they are, it's interesting how they are so similar. So last night, this is where all of this came to a head. I told my husband, who is very similar to my daughter, who doesn't, my husband is currently in grad school. And I can tell you when he has something due because he wants to talk to me all day. <laughs> I go. He's frantically cleaning in the house. Yeah, That's I go. Hey, I do. hey, babe. I know you have a paper due. I can tell because you just want to keep talking to me about everything. How bill becomes a law. How <laughs> the logo, the logos of the Houston Oilers. Uh, various like di- the time you experienced hummus for the first time. Like I've heard all these stories. You've got to start your work. Like you got to get it done. Get it done now. He like wants to dilly dally. That's Eleanor. She wants to push it off. Do everything else except starting the work. So Eleanor, I say last night I go look. I'm gonna go to the gym for one hour, and we both know that means 45 minutes. So I'm gonna go for one hour. I've taught you how to work on your lines. You've got five pages to work on. Do them for one hour. Then I'll help you with your homework when I get back. She goes to her dad, starts to cry. And so he, I, I don't know if how a met. bill becomes a law. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> hey, I agree with this. Let's go watch a movie because you deserve a chance to, to okay. reward yourself. That's uh, mom says no, dad says yes. That's- it was a real bummer because yeah. I was like, Colin, I'm trying to teach her a little bit of discipline here and you're getting in my way. And when two parents, there's nothing harder than coming together as parents when you have. <laughs> Two different <laughs> views of what that parenting should look like. And I'm sorry, my GPA in college was so much higher than Collins because I was a studier. And I was like, you have to, you have to have a process and you have to start and you have to end and you have to, there has to be structure. So I go to the gym, I come back. Eleanor had balled herself out of doing the work. And mm-hmm. I go, and then he goes, I go, I was so calm. Normally I'm not calm. I go, <laughs> eerily calm. I go, okay. He goes, well, she started crying. I go, I think she did that on purpose. He's like, no, she didn't. And I go, no, she did. And I look at Eleanor and she's like 
like big giant tears are falling down. I'm like, somebody should be recording this. It was like Demi Moore and Ghost. Well, somebody's working on acting. I go, sure. I go, well, I hope you can bring that for newsies. Quite honestly, mm-hmm. there are a couple scenes when you go to Santa Fe that you better pull those tears, Margot yeah. Robbie. So I go, I go, okay. I just want you to know that she did this so she could get out of doing the work, the same thing you do when you go to do a paper. And now Ooh, she doesn't have her lines snap. memorized and yeah. we're going to be behind. So he goes, well, I got a, I got a way to fix this. We're going to bed earlier. Eleanor's going to go to bed earlier every night, and then she's going to get up at 6 a.m. and work on her lines. No and this is Eleanor's face. And I go, <laughs> so Colin's out of the room, and I go, hey, man, if you would have just done what I said, you'd still get to stay up till 9. You could sleep until 6.30, but you did this. And she goes, I hear what you're saying, <laughs> and I tend to agree. <laughs> Wow. She goes, I'm rethinking my choices. I've never heard that. She she folded. She folded. And guess what we did this morning? Got up at 6 a.m. And guess what? She was miserable. Yeah. So, But there was a part of me that was like, well, I guess mom being a big crab ass is not so bad when I'm just trying to well, instill some learning skills. Oh God, am I the most boring? Who no, wants to do no, shots. Of- no, let's shots. no, let's do shots. But I also, no. I, I have to say, this is a real thing in my life right now, where my husband and I are both dealing with it, and it's such a hard thing. But I think if he were here, we don't want him here, you guys, do we? Um, I don't want my husband here. He's on the other side of the fence, and he just will not bend. But this, this, I feel like is every couple. When I see my husband losing it, I go, I'm gonna, t- I'm gonna take over. Because I can see that he's like not parenting as he normally would. And he's it's, losing his it, shit. Yeah. It's you not guys are that, really nice to each other. I'm like, you need to why are you losing it right now? That's what I said. It's not that it hasn't like been earned. It's not that he hasn't been pushed to the point where he's oh justified in being frustrated. I just know that we would rather outsmart our kids rather than out angry the kids. So we're constantly playing like not good, good cop, bad cop, cop. bad cop. Yeah, it is. I'm not letting anybody off the hook. No, but you're still a cop in I'm, the scenario. Like, I just you're like, have like, we started doing this when when Dash was like, because I read this thing, and I don't know if this is right, because I don't know what I'm talking about, but I read in this book that we are like- doctors. If you can, they have to be able to do a timeout successfully by the time they're 18 months, because if you can do that- then Train them. you can always mentally overpower them. Whereas if you can't ever get them to like do a timeout or like acquiesce to the punishment, there's no way You'll you will when they're still... physically larger than you. Also like, smarter and cunning and they yes. don't give a shit if they're being rude. They know, I they, mean they, the they have, day. They have a good memory and they'll remember all the times you let up on it and they know they can still win. They know the ways to win. Yeah. So we would do that. And, and like when one of us was getting frustrated because – I think I saw it in Super Nanny, actually, now that I think about it. No books involved, just TV. I think it was like you go and you patiently put them back in the corner. You keep going back. And keep going back. Keep, and if it takes two hours to get them to do a minute and a half, and that's what you have to do. So we would like tag each other out. When you're like frustrated and you've been trying for 40 yeah. minutes, then you like do that or whatever. And um, so we, we try and do that now. But when – you look at a person who is uh, your spouse and they've been parenting and now they're upset and their eyes are crossed in different and they're directions red. and they're red and they're sweaty and they're they're willing to die on a hill that involves it's math over a homework. stupid dumb pasta oh, that oh like you don't like me it you're like i i have the patience to like step in on this parenting, but not to fight you and then also yeah. step in on the parenting. And that's like kind of what every night is like. It's like get the homework done, get the meal eat, get like f- yeah. like get them to like get them to do all the stuff they have to do without one of us losing our minds come fucking daily. Lately. Daily. Yeah. If anybody wonders how much you lose your shit as a parent in daily. on average, it's a daily thing. Yeah. It's a daily thing. And then I go cry. And if you don't, you have hired help, I guarantee you. Uh, or, 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 or you're drunk. Yeah, you're know. drunk or like high. Maybe that's better. Yes, I don't know. I don't-, <laughs> I don't know. But my, my kid can set me into, especially Finn, can set me into a level of frustration and like I go into it. My, my voice changes. It goes real high and squeaky and I am not happy with how he is talking to me. And then in a moment he can be so sweet. And then I'm like still left up in the squeaky part. And I'm like, I don't know how to deal with this, this emotional ninjaing that's happening. Cause I'm not fast and he's fast. 
It is fast. It is literally from like, I am punishing you. This is the biggest punishment I've ever given you. Go to bed. And then you get in bed and they're like, can you do those little circles thing on my cheek that helps me fall asleep? And I'm like, I can't switch this quickly. Yeah, like I, I need, need to, to go hit a heavy bag. Yeah, or something. I'm like, like well, I'm walking in the front yard. Like, I know, it's, so, like uh, snorting and goddamn. Yeah, I used to remember my my dad used to do that when he would get really mad. And my dad and I, well, first of all, I love my dad. Times were different. Dad wasn't as home as much as mom. So mom got the real short end of the stick because dad was always the shiny object because when he would come home, it was late at night and we were like, woo. So he didn't have, he wasn't the disciplinarian. Yeah, wait till your dad can, comes home. It usually meant like, well, he's a little bit easier yeah. to deal with. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's, he's like loose. He's not frustrated. You know, he's had some drinks. He's yeah. cool. You know, it's he just the times. day of this shit. No. So he's, he's shiny object, but man, when he would get pissed, when he would get, lose it, he would, it would, he, it was like a walrus walking through the house. You just hear, him, and he would just talk to himself. Son of a gun, I, you know, I, I don't know. I have to take it out. I'll tell you, I'll tell you right now. You talk to me like that, I'll put you out. You find your own house. Like he would for an hour, just like huff and puff. And yeah. I was like, old man, you, you're lucky you're gone a lot because we would do this. To you, you'd be out. You'd be like, yeah, you'd have a cardiac arrest before three times today. But right. It's, it's Mom's already Wednesday. lost her brain yeah. three times, and this is you at seven thirty. Yeah, and then she has us do bath and books, so you yeah. got to get it together, man. I yeah, know. you need to. Pull I can it together tell. Now. I can tell when my husband's losing it because he goes, "Really, really," and I'm oh, like, yeah. "Are you going to fist fight our children right now? Like, what is it? What this, you're not in a New York yeah. parking lot? What? My, if, my favorite you, is when Colin and I are yelling at each other to stop yelling. Yeah. Yeah, when I'm like, no, you you're yelling. All the fuck you're down. yelling. So you're fucking out of control. You're yelling right now. You're yelling. You're yelling. <laughs> you're yelling. yelling. And then the kids are like, you're both have yelling. Have kids, like, they up. said. Get have married, kids. they get, said. And get married. Hey, I'm done. Did we podcast? Did we podcast? Can we eat our food I now? Hope so.